Hello there, my name is Solomon Mensa, and the show is Talk to Solomon, and the channel is Aniwaba, A N I W A B A. Today we are talking science. We are going to speak to one young scientist, and um, I'm fascinated already. I know that you can't miss this interview. Let's engage him. He's seated, right? Big man. Yes, sir. Um, my name is Solomon, so you tell me your name. Your parents, where you are from, and all. Okay, sir. So my name is Edodo Tu, and I come from a humble home. I was born to Kwesia Kum and Lydia Donko, and I come from Goma Nyanyano, central region of Ghana. I schooled at Nyanyano Methodist JHS at Goma Nyanyano, and I furthered my education, my secondary education at Infantipum School, where I completed just last week. I offered science, and I am passionate about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So that's all about it. I see. When did your passion for science catch up fire with you? Okay. I was then introduced to uh, Archimedes. Okay. Archimedes was also a Greek philosopher, mathematician, oh, and a scientist. I thought you were talking about Archimedes. I thought we had some textbook for science, Archimedes. We called it Archimedes, Archimedes. Not that, not that textbook, <laughs> but the Archimedes, original Archimedes. Yes, please, sir. Oh, I see. So, in classes, I was told a story by my classes teacher. So I was fascinated about science and all that. And I was also, I was also told of the story of uh, Professor Francis Aliti, the best or the known best uh, Ghanaian scientist of all time who, who formulated the Aliti formalism, a technique used to calculate matter moves in outer space. So I saw that most of the things we learn or most of the things we learn in science are all produced from the outside. They are outside knowledge. So I decided to also, you know, go into that and also make a change. Because at that time, when I, I also went to SHS, we were introduced to so many principles, laws and philosophies and theories propounded by some people outside world such as the Archimedes, the Newton, Einstein, Pythagoras and all that. So I said that I also make something or bring out a new concept that will be a Ghanaian name. Okay. So that was how I started and every day after learning I put down Otu's principle, Otu's law, Otu's okay. theory. But I, I didn't get any concept about that until I realized or uh, one day I found a circle of light beams, a uh, torchlight forming a circle on a, a, a wall okay. at night. So I studied that phenomenon and I said, ah, let me just do a uh, background research about that. And I came out with two laws governing how light beams form circles at night called Otus Laws on Circles of Light Beams published in Young Scientist Journal at UK. Otus Law on Circles of Light Beams. Circles of Light Beams. Yes, please. You mean when I hold a torch light and I throw the light on a wall? Yes, please, sir. The light going to the wall? Yes, please, sir. You've, you've propounded a law on that? Yes, please. I mean, I don't, uh, tell me more about it. So, the law basically talks about how light beams forms a circle at night. Mm. So, I actually, you see, there are scientific methods that we go through before we come out with a discovery and all that. So, I observe the phenomenon, I ask questions about that phenomenon, and I propounded, uh, I, I did my hypothesis 
and all that before I went on to perform the experiment. The experiment was conducted at Infant Scream School okay. Senior Physics Laboratory. So the law basically there are two basically laws that govern how circles uh, light beams form circles at night. We have the first law as when light forms a circle at night, the distance from the source of light is directly proportional to the circumference of the is directly proportional to the square roots of the circumference formed of the circumference of the circle formed on the wall. Okay. So that's so, how I, uh, mm. I, I started. So when you say directly proportional, I have a foot, but So you're talking mm. about what happens to the distance from the source of light mm -hmm. and the circumference of the circle formed on the wall on the wall okay. the relationship between them okay so you realize that as you move the torch light away from the wall it becomes bigger yeah and as we move it closer yeah. it becomes smaller, smaller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so okay. this is what we call a direct oh. proportionality. Mm. So my findings oh. has been published in Young Scientist Journal. Oh, I see. How the title in case someone wants to check it? On the circles of light beams. Okay. On the circles of light beams for further reading, visit Young Scientist Journal. Okay. At UK. So if I think I'm getting it, so you are, you mean to say, if I'm holding a torch light here. And I throw it on this wall. Yes, sir. And it's at night. Yes, sir. Um, the circle that will form on the wall, yes. because I'm far away, yes. the circumference of the of the of the of the circle yes, yes. Cor correlates with where I'm standing. Yes, please, sir. Exactly. And if I go closer to the wall, yes, sir. It also correlates to where I'm standing at that particular time. Yes, please, sir. Exactly. Okay. So with this one, was it in second, secondary school that you got this idea? No, please. At that time, I was in uh, SS1, just SS1. Okay, just SS1? SS1. You mean J, JHS or SHS? SHS1. SHS1? Yes, please, Okay. Sir. <laughs> okay. So that was my first scientific article or paper I wrote at the age of 19. At the age of 19? 19. 19. And who, who advised you or who made you know that you could write articles based on your findings and publish it who opened your eyes on that uh, because of uh, the books i read you know, i like reading about the scientists okay the uh, archimedes newton professor Alote. okay i like reading about them so uh, i just got fascinated okay and i said oh, well let me just give it a try okay <laughs> okay i want i want you are holding a marker yes, and this this is a board i want this to be practical okay, so we first go on the on this on the circles thing you, you are talking about yes, let my viewers know what you are talking about demonstrate to us on the board let's see okay sir so Alright, so um, you are still watching Talk to Solomon and my today my guest is Edward Otu. Um, he's a young scientist and he says he has come out with laws on circles of light. So that's why he's taking us through. So we have the first law. We have the first law. So the first law ideally talks about when you have a, a source of light forming a circle at night so this is the source of light And then the circle forms. So, 
if you are holding a, a torchlight and it forms a circle at night, let's make the distance here as D. So the first law is that provided a torchlight forms a circle at night, the distance from the point source of light to where it formed the circle is directly proportional to the circumference of the circle formed. It's directly proportional to the square root of the circumference formed. So I have D is directly proportional to the square root of the circumference formed. So because of this, I'll introduce a constant of proportionality. Let's say K. 2 pi r, square root of 2 pi r. So this is actually the first law. Okay. I see. I see. So take us through the second law too. So I think maybe you can you can you can divide it and work on here. Yeah. The second law. The second law, it also talks about the, the area of the... Circumference. The area of the circle. Okay. And the distance. Okay. So it also say that the distance is also directly proportional to the fourth root of the area of the circle formed. So introducing a constant of proportionality, let's say, K1, then I have 2 power A, power R squared. So this is also the second law because this equation 1. So we can equate the, because this distance and this distance, we can equate them because it's the same circle form. So we can say that combining the first law and the second law, we have D. So we have k square root of 2 pi r is equal to k1, the fourth root, sorry, the fourth root of pi r squared. So this is it. So intro, uh, making uh, this one the subject, I will have. Uh, so I bring this one to the so I have k is equal to k1 is equal to the fourth root of the area of the circle formed all over square roots of the circumference of the circle. I see. So this is a constant. So this is equal to a constant called the circle constant. This constant because the four roots of the area of every circle divided by the square roots of that same circle will give you a constant value. Mm. No matter the radius use, it will give you the same a constant value throughout. So this is basically about the circles of light beams. Okay. So okay, so you can answer that so that I ask you questions. Okay, sir. So let, let's leave it on the board. Okay. Yeah, I don't know whether the camera will want to take it so that I engage you. Uh -huh. Maybe you can take it a bit. Uh -huh. So you've now worked this one for us. Yes, sir. Um how beneficial would, would this be to say Ghana's development or the world development? Yeah, who yeah, we know. Then a bit in the This is a, um, a theoretical aspect. Okay. This is a basic science. And there's no practical without a theory. Yeah. So, knowing this, we can do a further research about us about that and see how beneficial uh, it, it can help mm -hmm. because 
uh, for every uh, uh, country to develop, you must invest. You must invest in STEM, yeah. which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Yeah. And basic knowledge also form parts. That is it. That is it. Basic. So th th there's a basic knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a basic knowledge. Mm. So when research goes through about that, and we can see how yeah. it should be beneficial. Okay, I must, I must say you've done well. Yes, I mean, I had one in science, JSS. Our science teacher was fun to be with, you know. His system was very, very, very good. So I, I developed that interest. But SS there about Charlie, everything vanished. So you brought me back to my science time. You've done well. So this is called what? Alo um, Otus what? Otus laws on cycles of light beams. Okay. Is, is it that this? So it didn't exist before you, you came out with this? Yes, please. It is. It is. It's, uh, so far, I'm the first person to propound this theory. This law. This law. Yeah. It's, it's original. Okay. Nobody knew it. I, I I have discovered it. Okay, wow. I that's that's interesting. Yes. Because when we were kids, we I mean we just put them touch light and we throw it on the wall. But you know, nothing came in mind. I don't even understand how it would get pi R or whatever. So you've done well. Thank you've you. done well. So um you said you've read about Alote and on and, and, and all, Archimedes and all. Yes, yes, how how constant do you think about science in your daily life? When you are there, do you think about science? Maybe you are eating science, you are bathing science. What is the motivation like? Yes, please. Uh, I stand for uh, a better place. I stand for the world being a better place to live through science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, as I said, because the way Ghana we treat the science is very poor. Is very poor because we, we, we solely emphasize in just passing and go your way. But to my motive, when I was schooling, we are all learning the science. But me, I have, I, I always go beyond. Mm. I, I see beyond not just science as a matter of doing it to get A1 or that. No, yeah. getting A1 doesn't solve the problem yeah. that we are having. But it's about you going beyond, bringing something new to be, you know, making an impact in life. So I, I, I think about science. I see science as the fundamental or integral part of Ghana's development because okay. without STEM, without STEM, we can't develop. Okay. Sure, without STEM, we can't develop. Okay. So having passed through the school system, Ghana's school system now. Do you see any problem with how we teach? With this knowledge you have, you know, do you think the basic school level, the SS level, we could do something better, or the teaching level, the practical level is okay? It's very poor. I it's see. It's very, very poor, because when you compare to the outside, the case they they allow their kids to explore to explore to you know have interest of whatever they are doing mm. you know, they let the student to discover their potentials and pursue and science <laughs> the way we see science we just see it as when you do science you are bela you are shocked you are bela and i quite remember when i went to infant swim we're all science students and I asked my colleague who is also a science student, ah, why are you offering science? He said I was forced because okay. my mom wants me to be a medical doctor. Okay. And I said, ah. So is that the motive of you were forced to do science? Because you see science students as be like sharks and whatever. So that's the Ghanaian concept about science mm. we are just doing it for doing sake mm. but I, i'm going beyond to uh, explore because for a country to get recognition the g8 the g1 one, 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 mm. the ghana beyond date and all about it depends it's main 
the basis are from uh, science. science, yeah, STEM education, yeah. We, we, without it, <laughs> we change government, government will come, mm. go, and all that. But without proper implementation of how we treat science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in this country, sure, no, no, we think that with, without that, we are going nowhere. Yes, please. Yes, mm. please. So what? So what should be done? What really should be done? So yeah. that we know that Ghana, we are also manufacturing trains, we are yes. manufacturing aircraft, we are manufacturing all this. What should be done? So first of all, we have to change the our educational system because the educational system emphasizes solely on the theoretical aspects. Even the theoretical aspects that we are perceiving, we can't even add up to the, the theory the theory mm. the uh, uh, what do you call it? the newton's law we came to meet the father's law we came to meet the things that we came to meet that it has been there that's what we are still learning mm. people sat down thought about it and brought that concept and for us Ghanaians, <laughs> i don't know we are solely emphasized on the theoretical aspect, but we are not producing, contributing to to knowledge. The the knowledge, mm. nor neither do we, you know, applying it. <laughs> That's interesting. So we have two problems. Mm. We are not contributing to the knowledge. Mm. At the same time, we are not applying. So Africans are noted for consuming. We are only just consuming. Someone will do and bring for us, and we consume. Yeah. So uh it's, it's like it's like the the iphone that we have now yes we see on social media people brandishing yes, yes, um, yes. iphones yes but we are not producing the yes, iphones yes the knowledge that is in the system we are not yes. capitalizing on it to produce our own yes please we are only consuming yes yes that's interesting yes then we have a long way to go yes please i sir. heard during the corona time the peak of the coronavirus yes, sir. you came out with a person or something yes please sir can you tell me more, more about it uh, I, during that period, too, I also did uh, research because as a science student, I'm, I'm also interested in doing research, bringing out you know solutions and new concepts and all that. So I got interested and I also conducted research on the uh, COVID-19 virus and. To my surprise, I found a local health, a okay. health that have its property similar to that of the COVID-19 virus. Okay. So I hypothesized, I hypothesized uh, how uh, it will work, the health will work as against the COVID-19 virus. virus. I see. So, how did you, the virus, did you get the opportunity to study, how did you get the opportunity to study the virus? I mean, was it in your home, in your lab, or how did you go about it? Uh, I was just using the internet as a tool to study more of the, uh, the structure of the virus the biology, the structure, the chemical nature of the COVID-19 virus and all that. So when I did that, I sh also shifted my attention to local herbs. Okay. To also look for... Uh, local solution. Yeah, that will uh, help. That is has, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, property that can, you know, fight the COVID-19 virus. And to my so surprise, uh, I, I found the herbal, you know, this one that can fight it, but unfortunately, I couldn't get the opportunity to publish my finding. My, my, my finding because as at that time, you know, publishing Ghana year, <laughs> we see that all these works are for the the professors, <laughs> the professors that are doing their thesis, their PhD. Uh, so when you are publishing works on all that, they require your, they require your credentials. Yeah. And as at that time, I was in SS1. Mm. 
Mm. So publishing uh, was a long, uh, a difficult thing for me. Okay. So I couldn't, you know, pu publish my findings. Okay. I'll, I'll come to the findings again. But before that, when you said you, after studying the the properties of the virus, yes, sir. you compared it with um, a local herb. Yes, please. Sir. Okay. So how did you know that um, this herb? can really combat or kill the virus. How did you also study about the herb? So I also studied the structure of the herb, what the, the herb can do. The eight, uh, uh, what do you call it? The uh, microbial uh, activity, the okay. antiviral property of that, uh, what do you call it, the herb. And the COVID-19 virus has spike proteins. That's what? A spike protein. Spike. Yeah, there's okay. a spike proteins on the COVID-19 virus. virus. Okay, so you can like, clean this one and, and, and talk about the COVID-19. Okay. Right, so Edward is, is um, coming to work on the, on the COVID-19 virus vaccine that he says he, he came out. He came out with the... Uh, Okay, so that, that's how the virus looks like. Yes, please, sir. Mm. It's, they suggest uh, it will not depict the rare. Yeah. This one, but. It will take it like that. Yeah. yeah. So these are the spike proteins of the virus. Okay. So it uses this one to enter into the human cell mm. so that the virus will replicate. So the scientists we're trying to uh, discover an enzyme or a, a, a drug or agent that can break down these spike proteins that can destroy it so that the virus will be able to pierce into the human okay. cell and replicate so that help i was talking about is a protein enzyme and these spike proteins it is made up of a protein and the, uh, the properties of the, the makeup of the spike proteins is also similar to that of the herb. Okay. So, which means that it can help in degrading the, uh, the spike proteins here so that the virus will be able to enter into the human cell and replicate. I see. I see. So, when you, when you did this research, did you have in mind um, how we are going to apply this herb? For instance, if I get this herb and I consume, would it also do the same thing for me? Combat the COVID? Or it should pass through some chemicals before? Yes, please, I think so. So that's why uh, we have there are series of steps. First, after you've done this, you go for the uh, uh, in vivo, the uh, in vivo where you, uh, you you have the sorry the in vitro where, where you have the test tube testing. Okay. They will place the virus in the test tube and they uh, add the what do you call it the the drug that you have and see the reaction. So after a positive result, they will go to the in vivo where they use animal testing to see how the drug also works there mm. before they proceed to human testing okay preclinical and all that so there are a series of steps mm. <laughs> that, that, yeah, it has to go through that, yeah. and did you ever approach say any of the scientific bodies we have in ghana the noguchi the manpon center for plant medicine and all that yeah, yeah, yes, please, sir. Yes, please, sir. I went to the Center for Plant Medicine Research. Okay. And I, I went there and explained my concepts about how the drug work. Unfortunately, uh, I was rejected. Uh, you went there and you were rejected? Uh, yes, As in, what did they tell you? It was, uh, I was told that it is not possible for princesses and prince to be kings. Well, it is not possible for uh, uh, 
what do you call it? It is not possible for a slave to become a king. Whereas, so who, uh, who, who, who told you this? Uh, then the director for Center for Plant Medicine Research. Are you sure about what you are saying? Uh, yes, please, sir. So the, pe the fellow considered you as a slave, like an underdog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't, you, that you can't do it. Even if you can do it, it must come from someone established. Yes, please, sir. Yes, please, sir. Really? Yes, we sir. Uh, so how did it, did it make you feel? Mm, actually, <laughs> it pained me, but I still went on. I still went on and did a lot of works, researches, and that's so, uh, all. Yeah, yeah. I see. So now, have you abandoned it? Since we're told that a slave can do it, in quote, uh, not really because um, I think I'll find them. Or I'll find them or when I I move on to the tertiary because that 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 will um, that will be where I'll be exposed. Mm. I'll be exposed to the materials and all that when I'm really working on the project. Mm. Yes, Let me ask you, when you went to the, when you went to the plants, is it Mampom? Yes. Center for Plant Medicine? Yes, please, I don't even know how to put it. Did you, did you go with the, um, a prepared document, yeah. a letter? What, what, what was the process? No, I went there with the sample. Sample of the herb? Yes, yes. For okay. them to test and see. Okay. And I, I didn't get the feedback. I see. You didn't get the feedback. But when you went there, then they told you to go and see the director? Yeah, yes, please. Okay. You will you, you, you see how that, that one works. You will follow it. And so, 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 do you also, what, what have you been also doing aside the light theory, the light laws on the light and others? What have you also been doing? So, um, I, I'm also researching. Uh, I also have the uh, works on um, in chemistry, physics, uh, astrophysics, and uh, mathematics, okay. and all that. Uh, I'm really doing researches. Okay. Doing Let, research. Let's talk about just any one of them that you think you want us to talk about. Any um, of the researches you are doing so that you want us to talk about. Yeah. The. So. When I was in school just last uh, last week, I came out with um, a differentiation formula, higher order derivatives uh, a formula, a differentiation formula that can help us to find for the derivative of a given polynomial. Okay. Because the 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 concept is there already, but the approach to go about it is a long way. Okay. So I sat down and I said, no, uh, this approach is too long. So uh, let me actually make it a short. So I came out with uh, a formula, a formula that can help to calculate higher order derivatives of polynomial functions. Okay. Of, of powers. Like, I see. for example, we have. Um, you, can, you can clean the corona one. So, for example, we have a uh, polynomial function is depicted as px. So we have, um, let's say, a x k plus b x k minus 1 plus c x k minus 2. So, <laughs> This is a polynomial function. So we can say that the powers of the x okay. can never be a, a, a negative number. Okay. When negative number means? Uh, let's say, for example, you can't have a, uh, let's say, 2x uh, two with the power negative 2. Okay. 
This is not a, 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 a polynomial. Okay. A polynomial must be positive. The yeah. powers must be positive. Okay. So let's take y to be five x to the power four plus uh, four to the power three plus six to the power two plus then six let's say ten plus ten so this uh, a polynomial function this is a polynomial function and you can see that the powers decreases the powers decreases so you have four you have three then you have two uh -huh. so this is what we call a polynomial okay function. function okay i see and so what what have you come out with so there is a we have also a differentiation so on new a new ap approach a new approach to higher derivatives derivatives of polynomial functions a new approach to higher derivatives of polynomial functions so yeah there's a concept called differentiation okay now differentiation you know, we, we are interested in derivative the rate of change of uh, the function as x increases what happens to y okay as x decreases what happens to uh, y so this is what we call differentiation the rate of change of two variables so the um the normal approach the differentiation is generally indicated as dy dx so this is the uh, indication of uh, differentiation dy okay. dx now higher order derivatives means we are finding higher order derivatives means the continuous differentiation of a, a derivative of a derivative the higher uh, higher order higher order the higher order derivative we are finding the derivative of a derivative continuous so if if let's say if example i have what's on the board as y equals 5x with the power 4 plus 4x with the power 3 plus 6x squared plus 10. now let's try to find a, a second derivative the second derivative so here we are finding the second derivative second derivative now for you to find the second derivative the normal uh, concept of the differentiation is that you have to differentiate this one you have to find the first principle the first uh, derivative of this after you have found the first derivative and you you find the derivative of the okay. first derivative okay. which will give you the second derivative okay so if for example you are finding the tenth derivative you have to go through a stress a long process and you differentiate the polynomial ten times okay which is i believe Stressful. a long way yeah. yeah so let's try to use the normal approach of 
differentiation. Okay. To find the second derivative. That's of a this. long process. That's the long process. Okay. Then so, after that, you come to yours. Yes. Okay. My formula. Okay. So we have um, dy dx will give you. So we will differentiate each term. We differentiate each term. Okay. So this will give you 4 times 5, which will give you 20. Then we subtract 1 from the 4 here. So x cube plus. 3 times 4, which will give you 12. Then we subtract 1 from the 3 here, which will give you s squared. Then plus this uh, 2 times 6, which will give you 12. Then we subtract 1, making x with the power 1. But we don't write, we leave it there. Okay. This is a constant. Differentiating a constant gives you 0. So plus 0. I see. So we don't write it. Now, this is the first derivative. Now, we are going to find for the second derivative. Now we have the squared y over the x squared, which represents the second derivative. We are also going to differentiate this. So this will give me 60 x squared. You subtract 1 from here. You multiply this times this and you subtract 1. Plus this times this, which will give me 24 yeah. x when you subtract 1 from it, it will give you 1. So if you don't write the 1 here. Okay. Plus, this already power 1. So you multiply it times this, which will give me 12. Okay. And when we subtract, because this is 1, this is with the power 1. So you subtract 1 from it, making 0. Any number of variable with the power 0 is 1. So we don't write it. So it's oh. here. So this is the, one, the second derivative. Okay. So let's try to find also the third Derivative. Derivative. I which see. Is the cube. Uh, so, by so let him manage what you've been, you've been working. Yes, please. Hey, Charlie, So, this, the square, the cube y over the x cube. We are also going to differentiate this again. Mm. So, this time this will give me 120 x. I see. So, it's a plus one for me. This and this will give me plus uh, 20. Four, you subtract one from it. This is a constant. Mm. When you differentiate, it will give you zero. Zero. Now, this is the third derivative. Let's find the fourth derivative. We differentiate it again. D with the power four, y over dx with the power four, which will give you this with the power one times this one twenty. Okay. So this is a constant when you subtract it will give you a zero. zero so which means that the fourth derivative is 120 so the answer is 120 so the answer is 120 so all along we were looking for 120 yes either so the question would be say let find the second derivative then the second derivative is this one okay when they ask you to find the second derivative with this one. Okay. When they ask you to find the third derivative with this okay. one. When they ask you to find the fourth derivative with this one. I, I get it. I get it. So, so so now you're going to use your, your formula, right? Yes, please. For the same thing. For the same thing. Okay. This question. Okay. So you can see when you, when you have been asked to, when you are asked to calculate for the fourth derivative, mm -hmm. you find this, you find this, you find this, you find this. Yeah. And I propounded a, a formula. Okay. I formulated a formula to calculate the derivatives. The derivative, just a short one. Okay. So, so if I get you, it means your formula, if I'm asked to um, get the derivative of the second derivative, I can use the formula to get it. Yes. For derivative, I can yes. use the formula to get it. Yes. But, uh, but simplified way. Yes, please. So, assuming that um, in school, the exams that you just wrote, yes. you were asked in the exam that to find the fourth derivative and you use your formula. Would the examiner mark you? <laughs> so, yes. Would they, they, he'll mark you? Yes, because you must, we are looking for the answer. Okay. We are looking for the answer. You're supposed to mark me. Okay. He's supposed to mark you. <laughs> yeah. When, when, when you they've given him, um, um, what do you call it? Um, you will see. You know, they give them examiners, they give them um, answer sheet or what? Um, I've forgotten. 
But let's yes, go to let's go to mark, okay. marking scheme. The marking scheme. You know. But once the answer is there, uh -huh. then In, and the person hasn't really he doesn't know about your formula. So Charlie, where did this guy get this one? <laughs> well, let's go to yours and let's okay. see. Sir. Mass, but I saw you map mass. You like it. At, at the end of this, you like it. Mm. But I open mass. On per mass. So there. Is the marker still okay? The color is it okay for you? Or you change the marker? You should change it. Yes. Let's see the blue and see. Oh, it's not blue. No blue. Let's do the other one and see. Okay. So we are. There is O2 formula. Yeah. Okay. So is the thing that has D N Y over D X N is equal to A times K permutation N. Then X K minus N as this. Then plus B times P K mutation one times N. Then X to the power K minus one minus N. Then plus C times Okay, so you can clean this one. Yeah. So, so this, this, this is a formula. A formula. Wow. When you say this, you can so this formula actually uses the uh, concept of permutation. Permutation, which also involves factorial. We have factorial. So the let assuming. Let's take. Is it the one the little people use? Yes, they are payment numbers. They are so it means the little, little people are they are not dumb as we tell them. Like yes. the whole morning. they use the concept of mathematics permutation and combination. Little so, people, eh? yes. A more, eh? yes. But some of you now, you know, a job more say or of course school one pass English into no only school call. Yeah. But they use permutation. Yes. Charlie, well, let's continue. So let's take this. Polynomial function. So we are going to, we are using this as a reference to this. This as a reference to this. Because okay. what I did is, because there are different types of functions, but my is emphasizing on polynomial functions. Okay. So this is a polynomial function, as you, as you can see. So if you have uh, a x with the power k. Yeah. That is so differentiating the whole of this is this one. Mm -hmm. Differentiating the whole of this is this one. Okay. And differentiating this term is this one. So we are going to take this one too. So for example, I have a function as y equal to. Let's see. This is the first derivative. Yeah. Okay. So let's try and find the first derivative using our formula. Mm. Let, let me just say that we are in a classroom, so people, viewers should just forgive us of the background noise. We are, we've come to his former school. This is a what, Nyano, Nyano Methodist, Methodist school. Methodist school. school. Indian Methodist School. So it's today is Friday, and they are on P on P yeah P for the money then physical education. Yeah, yeah. So it's very few. And then background on but I'm not sure why. Yeah, to ask you. Okay. So using this one, let me try and find the first derivative. So the first derivative means it is one. So it's d dy. Hey dy dx equals so the formula is the 
coefficient of the term here. So which is five times four. Uh, times looking at the formula here times p, which is permutation. Okay. K re represents the 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 power. Um, so which is four. Okay. Then the n the n here represents the 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 derivative you are finding okay because it's first which means it's one mm. so you bring the one here okay oh i see i'm then getting you it write the x okay then looking at the formula minus the k yeah the k is the four year minus the n that is which one. is one yeah so that's why we get three there that's why we get three there ah so plus the coefficient is four year four year so i write four mm. times p then k minus one year means that uh, the, the polynomial function the way it goes in like decreasing order okay so which automatically here will be what three because the k from the formula the k is four yeah and uh, then uh, minus n i'm subtracting one from here yeah so which will give me three yeah then the n is one so x so the k it's also three here yeah. uh, so the whole of this is three because the k is four yeah then minus one yeah three then minus n which is one which will give me two okay which will give me you let me write it so k uh, so four minus one minus the one which is the n then plus the coefficient here is six 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 times p so the p here the uh, what do you call it the is two so here we are having k minus two so yeah i'm going to have uh what do you call it two because four minus two is two here okay from this one mm -hmm. so i'll have one year because i'm finding the third derivative yeah one then x so k which is the four minus two minus one plus you know that differentiating a constant is zero yeah so zero mm -hmm. then making this dy dx will give me five times this is four permutation one okay four permutation one mm -hmm. when you punch it four permutation one it will give you four Four permutation one will give you four. Okay. X with the power three. So so the, the permutation. I did the same as like four times one. No, please the uh. permutation. The formula goes like this. Uh, For permutation, eh? Yes. And permutation. Let, let's see. Uh, uh, what do you call it? K permutation n so i'll get k factorial all over k minus n factorial Oish. for the permutation alone for the permutation working yes okay you let's continue with this you uh -huh. can clean you can so, clean the permutation so this is the permutation the little people have been using yes you let's go to this tell so, these guys are brilliant plus this is four Four. Mm. So the four year I have 
tray permutation one which will give me times tray so this and this will give me what uh, two plus six times two permutation one which is give me two and this and this will give me x okay so dy dx is equal to this will give me 20 x cube plus 12 x squared plus plus s plus 12 x okay so this from the first derivative using my formula okay and let's try and find the you can see that the answer is the same here using the normal differentiation approach because for the finding the first uh, derivative using the normal approach is easy that one you just differentiate it one okay uh -huh. so it's here you insert it and it will give you the answer now let's try and find the the third derivative derivative yeah yeah you are not going to for the normal differentiation you have to differentiate find the first second and the third before you can get the 120 plus 24 okay now using my formula we are going to find the third derivative So using for the third derivative, I have the cube dy dx cube, which will give me uh, five times five times the p, which is the four. Then what derivative am I find? The third, so it will be three. Okay. Then x to the power four minus 3 then plus 6 times sorry times 4 plus 4 times x a sorry plus 4 permutation 3 then i have 3 x looking at this is 4 minus what the end which is three then plus c the six times p permutation which is four so i'm finding the third so which is three then x the k is four then the derivative i'm finding which is three minus, minus three so yeah uh, it will give me five Five times, so yeah, I'm finding four permutation three. Mm. So four permutation three is twenty-four. Then I have x four minus three, which is one. So we don't write it here. Okay. Plus, so I have four times three. Permutation so three. three permutation 3 which will give me 6 okay. so 4 minus 3 which is giving me 1 All right 1 okay okay so this will be three sorry because the k is four yeah then i'll, I'll subtract one from it mm -hmm. ma making three so three minus uh three rather right uh -huh. or no the k the k is the what k from here the K is four here. 
So four minus the uh, what do you call it? One year, which will give me the three. And here the k is four minus one, which will give me three minus the n the yeah derivative I'm fine. So which will give me three minus three. Mm -hmm. Then here it will give me what zero. So x is the power zero. Then plus six. So here to the k is four. Uh, the k is four. The k is four. Then I'm subtracting two. Making two. Yeah. Then minus the not normal friends, so which will give me uh, two minus three. Okay. So six times uh, what do you call it? Four. Four. Permutation three will give me twenty four. By here, uh, that this one is uh, what do you call it? The six uh, squared. So here uh, we can differentiate it uh, three times. So when you differentiate it three times, you get zero because I'm finding the third. Okay. Derivative. So minus two. Oh, sorry. This will give me two. Uh huh. Two. Because k minus the two here. K minus two. So okay. The k is this one. Mm. But here we don't have. Uh, what, what do you call it? We don't have two permutation tray. Why? Because of this formula. Okay. So, yeah, if you point it on calculator, it will give you syntax error. Oh, I see. Ma uh, mass error. So, we assume it's zero. Okay. The whole of this is zero. So, five times 25, which will give me five times, hey, five times 24, hmm. which will give me 120x. Then four times six, which will give me twenty-four. Any number with the power zero is one. So which is the cube y the x cube is equal to one twenty plus twenty-four. Okay. I see. I, th I think you can sit down so that we talk. So you've you got to the Take derivative. Yes, please. Okay. I so, think it's, it's, it's a fair idea. Yes. So with, with this one, you can also find the first derivative. You get the 120. Okay. Out of the 120 plus? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. I mean, you, you've done so well. So for the, this one, how did, did it come about? Then I'll drink when I'm waiting about you. So, uh, our school, we didn't cover my stream with it. So uh, our friends were you know worried about calculus. We are mm -hmm. going to write the mathematics and we haven't done the calculus. And you see the topic is plenty. <laughs> so ah uh, the kind of uh, comments student pass on the you know that calculus now nah, mm. I didn't like it much. Okay. Because they see it as uh, some difficult or something like that. So our mother introduced us to the differentiation. The proud to the proud to the introduction to the differentiation. I said, oh God, let me bring us something new. That we didn't even finish the differentiation, Anna. I got an idea. Got an idea and all that. Okay. So so did you tell your colleagues or your, your teacher about it? Yeah, yes, please, sir. Which of them? Uh, your teacher or your colleagues? My, my teachers and colleagues. And how, how did they receive it? 
Mm, uh, <laughs> joy and you know massive and they are all amazed. I see. I see. What is your career plan? What what do you want to do? What is your education like? Like what do you want to study? So, and what do you want to become? Uh, <laughs> I want to be an engineer, uh, specifically a chemical engineer. Uh, to study chemical engineering, concerned about how we can transform raw materials into useful things to benefit the society. Okay. Yeah. And you say raw materials, which, which of them, or any just raw material? Yeah, we are talking about, for, for example, Ghana here, yeah, we have the gold, the bauxite, the cocoa, the timber, but we are still, you know, poor, going for even loan from IMF. So we can just, the course I'm going to, you know, offer or uh, help me to have an idea of how things are being, you know, transformed. You know, if you go to places like China and all that, the, 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 the things we, we see them as useless, the ways that we see them as useless, they are using them to tap energy and all that. So that's the work of um, a chemical yeah. engineer. Mm. So, so I'm also into that. But for my findings here, uh, because I am in the academia, because uh, at SS, you won't be exposed to, you know, the things that can make you feel like you are doing the rare part cutting. So we just learning the theories and all that. So mm -hmm. because I am, um, I was in the academia then, SS, that's why I, I, my findings are always seems theoretical. Okay. Yeah, but if you know, I'm employed in an industry or if I'm mm. working in an industry, the kind of research or findings I'll bring out, you know, make a positive impact on okay. the economy. Okay. And um, so do you have any mentor? You mentioned Dalote, Akimides. Do you have specific mentor that is this, this, this person, I'm following the footsteps of this fellow, of this person? <laughs> One, um, so I choose a local uh, apostle, Dr. Kodjo uh, oh, Okay. Looking at what he's doing, science can't even, you know, science finds it difficult to even explain okay. his ideas, his inventions, innovations, and discoveries. Mm. So it's, it's massive. Okay. Have you met him before? Uh, no, please. Are you envisaging that you meet him? Yeah, yes, please, yes, please. Are you, uh, so, are you working towards it that you want to see him or something? Yes, please. Sir. Okay. And um, is there any. Do you have challenge? Do you, are you okay financially? Do you need something to push what you are doing? What, what, what is your challenge? Uh, right now, there's a, I'm going through a financial challenge. The background or the family I come from. <laughs> Because you see, I, I was born with a wooden spoon in my mouth. So I see, not, not a silver spoon. Yeah, I yeah, see. You struggle. Struggle. But you know, God knows why He gave me this bone. So that I'll be, you know, come out with this. Um, I, through my research, I'm um, having a challenge to assess what it takes the PC and all that, I struggle to mm. even, you mean you know, a lap, you need a laptop? Laptop and all mm. that. Okay. That make me, so, you know. so there's a camera. Look through and tell my viewers of what you need. Who knows, someone may come your way with, with, with what you need. Okay, so um, I'll be happy if I, I'll be sponsored to further my education because I just completed last year hoping to pursue chemical engineering at uh, KNUST at uh, Kumasi and the course I'm also going to offer will help Ghana a lot and uh, we must you know invest in proper research and come out with a finding that can make the economy grow because the Ghana Beyond Aid we are striving at depends on Ghana's number of people who are into STEM education. 
who are into science, technology, engineering and mathematics to help this country to develop. So I'll be happy if I'll be sponsored to you know work more, bring out more researches and discoveries to all that. Thank you very much. Okay. It's been nice talking to you. I mean the knowledge you have at this level is is it's impressive and I wish you well in life, you know. Thank you, sir. Yes, and one day I would want to see or hear that through you, Ghana, we are manufacturing this, we are doing that, you know. And I know it's possible. Yes, sir, it's possible. Yeah, so I wish you all. Um, I pray for the best for you. And your last words? My last words um, I stand for making the world a better place to live through science technology, engineering and mathematics. So the government through the Ministry of Education should try as much as possible to change the current education system that we have now. And parents, guardians should also make it a point to allow the student to discover their potentials, what they really want to do in life not just as a medical doctor because we have we have <laughs> we are, we, we all, uh, often talk about medical doctor but uh, i don't know the 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 the, the leaders we, when they fall sick or when they are going for you know treatment they send them outside for treatment the question i ask that aren't uh, uh, qualified. Doctors, qualified doctors mm. here and all that so we, we we have a long way to go and we must invest in stem education and change the curriculum and enable the student to pursue what they really want this will make us to you know develop our as, as a country okay. and mm. i would also like to you know train young people uh, of my age who are also having this vision having the capabilities just i have now uh, I only want to, you know, train people and mentor people as that, so that you know, the country will be able to, you know, develop. This country really need qualified scientists and engineers to spearhead development. Okay. Yeah. So, in your estimation, if you look at Ghana, the, the current state of Ghana, and what I can, I can picture what you are thinking about Ghana's development using science and all that. Yes. How many years do you think we have to develop? I mean, considering that we are serious, now we are serious, we are taking science, education, everything serious. We are do How many years that we see that we have tra railways and all? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it will take more than, let me say, 10 years. It will take more than 10 years. If we are serious, we put proper implementation policies and all that it will take less than 10 years we will start you know feeling that we are developing yeah, yes 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 okay and you mentioned the um, changes in education curriculum yes i mean let's assume that the minister of education is watching just one suggestion that it, it should be changed is it the case that we should have laboratories from gss to ss proper laboratories or what what exactly when we talk about changing the education system, it comprises a lot because the students, one, we must have, uh, we must also focus on the, the practical aspects. So that the world we are living now uh, needs people who are, you know, fit into the world. So the current uh, demand of the economy, the world, Need people who are you know uh, skillful, who have the skill, the capability, not just fluent in the English and all that. So we also need to have uh, focus on the uh, laboratory, the infrastructure, and all that. There are factors that the students will need to enhance them in performing the experiments. And we must also group the students, okay? Because if you go outside, well, we have people. The science, the science we are talking about, we have the pure science and we have the applied science. So a student may not be able, may not be good in the pure one, but he may be good in the uh, the applied one. Okay. So 
we must you know see uh, consider all these things into being and group the students in as whether it's going for the pure or uh, the applied ones so i think uh, when we do that we develop okay thank you so much i appreciate your time and thank i wish you, you well as i said thank you very right much, sir. My name is Solomon Mensa, and um, this has been Talk to Solomon. We spoke to Edward Otu, a young scientist, brilliant one, of course, and I pray and hope that he gets support, I mean, the support he needs. Right? Fatao uh, was the cameraman. We are grateful. If you are new here, kindly do subscribe to the channel so that you get notified of our subsequent uploads. We are out. Thank you.